I have encountered werewolves, half vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. It makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well... I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? Caretaker and Agatha protected me, trained me, cared for me. All I know of Lilith is pain. Hard same, but a different kind of pain, I guess. Couldn't ask for anyone better than Aunt May and Uncle Ben, but sometimes I just wish I could have gotten to know my birth parents, even just for a second. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? The Hunter has always led the Midnight Suns in the battle against Lilith. So it was before, so it shall be now. Wow. 
That is some focus. Me? I get too restless if nothing changes. I get irritated with MJ when she insists on ordering the same pizza toppings all the time. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. After some intense combat, I love to unwind with video games. Clash of Hellions, maybe Warman 3. Ninja with a shotgun is a great one. Now this place feels like a superhero lair. Man, I wish we had something like this in New York. We learn more with each encounter, Hunter. Hunter. You're looking well, Chief. I remember when I used to go out on these missions myself. At least I can always rely on you to get the job done. Well, looky who it is. I should be training. You need to go? No, I'm just not the kind of person who takes a lot of breaks. I used to relax by hunting bears. The only weapon I brought was myself. Right, you have to keep up or you'll fall behind. Because any day could be your last. Yeah, you can't control everything. Dangers crop up. Not every day, but yeah, most days. One slip, one lapse, and the Lillian turn your skull into a chamber pot. I wouldn't go that far. Those who give less than their all have but one use. A dying scream as our foes tear them from seam to seam. Hold up there. But when the enemy slices our bellies open, we will loop our entrails around their throats and twist until their heads pop free. Wow, Hunter, I thought I was on edge. That was okay.